Hello there. Welcome to Primer Lecture Series presenting by Dr. K. Prem. Today we will discuss about uh, three prime end labeling under uh, labeling of probes. Three prime end labeling means incorporation of incorporation of labels. They are nothing but radioactive nucleotides or fluorescent dyes attached nucleotides or uh, analogs are incorporated at the three prime end of uh, DNA or RNA fragments. You can see here, this is a DNA fragment where it is having five prime phosphate and three prime cut. Labeled nucleotides are incorporated at the three prime end. This kind of labeling is called as a three prime end labeling. So most important one to discuss under uh, three prime end labeling is what is the label? So initially radioactive materials or radioactive nucleotides are used to be uh, labels. And especially for three prime end, lab end labeling, we need a ATP, which is a radio labeled at uh, alpha phosphate. So you all know that ATP is having three phosphates alpha phosphate, beta, and gamma. You see, the gamma phosphate is terminal, and beta is in between, and alpha is uh, attaching to the deoxyribose, which is attached to the you know, uh, nitrogen base. So alpha phosphate is radio labeled for a three prime end label. Why? Because when a three, when a, nucleotide is attached to the three prime OH of the primer, then these two phosphates, these two phosphates, alpha, beta phosphate and gamma phosphates are removed and, and released as a diphosphate or pyrophosphate, only nucleotide along with the alpha phosphate is incorporated into the, uh, incorporated into the three prime OH then this alpha phosphate is uh, involved in the form formation of phosphodiester bond. So three, three phosphates are there and in which alpha phosphate is involved in the phosphodiester bond between five prime OH and three prime OH. Five prime OH of the incoming nucleotide and three prime OH of the trimer are existing nucleotide. Whereas, Remaining two, two phosphates, alpha and uh, beta and gamma phosphates are released as a pyrophosphate or diphosphate. Hence, for three prime end labeling, alpha phosphate is labeled, that is a radioactive. And the other one is that terminal deoxynucleotide transferase. This enzyme has the ability to incorporate the nucleotides at three prime end in a template independent manner. So alpha alpha labeled, alpha phosphate labeled ATP and TDT are important for three prime end labeling. In the next slide, we'll see the procedure. You see, addition of labeled nucleotides may be radioactive, are non-radioactive non to the three prime OH of DNA fragments. Three prime OH of DNA fragments. So this requires the radio labeled nucleotides or uh, non-radio labeled uh, analogs or fluorescent dyes. And there is a one enzyme requirement for that. It is a terminal deoxynucleotide transferase. Then in the next slide, you will see the same thing in the form of a picture. Here you see protocol for uh, three prime end labeling. DNA fragments are incubated with the TDT, that is, that is terminal deoxynucleotide transferase and radioactive, that's a alpha phosphate, that's a alpha phosphate of ATP. Radioactive ATP where alpha phosphate is radio labeled. So, T 
DT catalyze the incorporation of alpha phosphate alpha phosphate ADP at three prime OH end of DNA fragment in a template independent manner. Template independent manner. Probes are ready with the labeled nucleotides at three prime OH. So the T terminal deoxynucleotide transferase incorporate the radial labeled ATP, that's alpha labeled, alpha phosphate labeled ATP into the three prime OH at the three prime OH of the DNA fragment. And uh, that is what called as the three prime end label. You can see the same thing in the picture format. Uh, You see, this is a one uh, DNA fragment where uh, five prime phosphates and three prime OHs. And for that, for these uh, DNA fragments, you are giving the radio alpha alpha phosphate labeled ATP and uh, terminal deoxynucleotide transferase. Then this enzymes incorporates the ATP at three prime only three prime end without uh, need of a template and uh, at the end of the reaction three prime oh of the dna fragments are uh, radio are labeled only thing is that the problem with this uh, probe preparation method is that the radioactive or uh, non radioactive analogs are added at the three prime end that because of that the probes are uh, more sensitive and less specific. More sensitive means they have more signal. They can use the more signal because the radioactive tail or nucleotide tail is added to added to the three prime end. Here you can see this is a tail of uh, incorporated one. So because of this reason, the probes are more sensitive. More sensitive means they can give the more signal, but they are less specific because this because of the nuclear time, they can uh, bind to the non-specific targets also. They can bind to the non-specific targets also. Probes are more sensitive and less specific because labeled nucleotides are added added to DNA at three prime end, and that added the DNA can result into the non-specific binding. Okay. And here you see one condition, the incorporation of the uh, deoxy uh, uh, ATP or deoxy TTP reduces more favorable than the DC or DG in this kind of reactions. Okay. So this is all about uh, different end labeling. If at all you like it, just subscribe for regular updates. Just subscribe for regular updates. See you all again with the one more topic. Until then, bye.